Hello folks, welcome back. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. I just sent out a heartfelt thank you to all those 125 plus people. I haven't checked today. But I saw last night that watched my Merry Christmas video from the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. Thank you so much. You guys really don't know what that means to me. Um, wait a second. I'm missing something. You know what? So predictions video, hit my... There we go. So as you can tell by the asteroids falling, that this is AEW, man. It's World's End. End of days, baby. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that too much. On Vogue, the broken one. That definitely would not be good. Yeah, I'll lower that just a hair bit. Yep, and I will be doing my reactions to it because Saturday I work only from 10 to 5. So I even get to go to the gym that day. Seven hour, six and a half hour shifts, always pretty good. So let's talk about at World's End. Because I think there's going to be a lot to talk about because I have a funny feeling that this pay-per-view it's just going to be really an extended version of Dynamite. So let's see here. Let me take a look at my list. Because I've seen that might be Mash of the Night. Who was a Stone Cold Lock? Yeah, that's going to have to be. I don't know. There's no match. Well, besides that one, Stone Cold Lock. Jeez, that's a, such a bad thing about that. And that's a snooze. Okay, I am all set now. I have a card filled out. There's 10 matches. 10 matches as far as I know. Um, let's start off, and that's not counting the pre-show, the, the warm-up stuff, but you know what? It's also Thursday, you know what that means. You have a delicious beer, because I'm feeling much better. Oh, frosty coldness. Foams up just a little bit when you pop it. I don't know if I can tilt that, but I don't know if you guys can't see that, but just listen to this glorious sound. <sighs> refreshing so now let's start off the prediction video officially I'm going to put that over there so it's oh good not as much not as much reverb one day I'll figure out like the exact position of stuff until then who knows you have the 20 man battle royal I don't even know who's left I mean taking a look at this card you know what Colt Cabana wins. Who knows? Does anyone's guess? Like they haven't announced anyone special. Unless, I mean, I guess Dolph Ziggler could show up. Ali might show up. Who knows? Colt Cabana has been a company guy, one of Tony's buddies. He should win. Then for the FTW champion, we have Hook. Versus Wheeler Yuta. Hook's going to retain the belt. It's his dad's belt. Like, why would Hook ever lose that belt? Again, this the whole thing just looks like a average dynamite. Um, then we have some, some eight-man tag action. We have Ricky Starks, Big Bill, Kazushika. Oh, no. Kanoshke, I'm sorry, I got, got them confused. Kanoshke, Takeshka, and Powerhouse Hobbs taking on Chris Jericho. Sammy Guevara, big. Sting! And Darby Allen. You know what, Chris Jericho? Sammy Guevara. Sting! And Darby Allen win. 
Um, <laughs> and this is just by pure process of elimination. But in my stone cold lock of the night, Julia Hart is going to defeat Abaddon. Abaddon just seems like a good jobber. Oh, that's right. Also, breaking news. Besides the rocket launch that I saw on my way to the gym, um, Sean Spears is leaving AEW. You know what? For that, na 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 na. Hey, goodbye. Na 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 na. Hey, goodbye. They have done absolutely nothing with Sean Spears since Cody Rhodes left. Even then, they just barely touched the surface of what he could do. And again, he has other things. He's, he's a proud papa now. And he has two darling I mean, he has his beautiful Australian wife. That's all, that's all you need. It's a hot wife to go home to. That's my goal, too. One day. Um, then we have... I don't know why they're doing this now. This seems like it's like two years overdue. Swerve Strickland versus... But limitless. Oh, bask in my glory. Keith Lee. I think Keith Lee's going to win. I really don't care about this match. I almost put this match as a snooze match until I saw what the other match was. Then you have Maridima Miro versus Andrade El Idolo with his hot sec, with his oh, hot, flexible wife. Yeah. That should be interesting. Miro has to win that. If not, Miro looks like a complete goof. And he, yeah, he's, I don't know. They've screwed up Miro, Miro too. Uh, then you have Eddie Kingston versus John Moxley. Again, I think we've seen this before, but this time it's for the like three belts. There, there are too many belts now in AEW. I can't keep count of them. The Continental Championship belt, some Ring of Honor belt, and a New Japan Strong belt. I think I honestly forget. That's what Eddie Kingston has. So, yeah, Eddie Kingston has a New Japan belt. They're not going to let that belt go yet. Um, so, yeah, Eddie Kingston wins. And then in the match that I'll probably be sobering up for. It's going to be Tony Storm versus Rio. Um, I don't know. This could, this could be a real stinker of a match. Again, that's why I say this like looks like a, a medium cooked dynamite. But you know what? Tony Storm's not gonna lose that belt yet. She's way too popular. Yeah, I know it's Riho, the in the hog roll, AEW Women's Champion, um, whose kitty belt looked just about the right size on her, but looks small on everyone else. So yeah, Tony Storm wins. And then in my match of the night. You have Christian Cage versus Adam Copeland. You know what? There's a reason why this is my match of the night. This is going to be a good one. Cheers to these two. But Adam Copeland's going to win. That's, that's for the TNT belt. That's going to be a fun match. And then in the main event of the evening, you have Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. For, oh, you know who's not on this card? There's no Bullet Club members on this card. Well, it's in that 20-man battle of schmoz. Oh, wow. Where are the young bucks? Where are the bucks? The bucks of youth. Who knows? But, yeah. 
Um, versus the right hand of destruction, Samoa Joe. And you know what? Something's going to happen during this match. MJF loses, which is good, because that means Samoa Joe becomes the new AEW champion. So yeah, those are my predictions for AEW World's End. That being said, it's going to be New Year's Eve and New Year's Day soon. So again, look for two more videos. And then in January, it's going to be a bunch of videos. Well, you have New Year's Day. And then you have the races coming up. Yep, it's going to be the BMW 4-Hour Enduro Challenge and the Rolex 24. Indeed. So yeah, a lot of video postings. And I should go fishing one day too. In fact, I think I will go fishing one day. I'm going to go to New Smyrna Beach. Go underneath the causeway, like, I don't know, some random, like, Wednesday or something. And I don't feel like working. So who knows? But again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone later. Oh, yeah. Um, don't forget, check me out. My reactions, my side commentary, and probably rude remarks. Uh, this coming Saturday. Probably starting about 5 o'clock.